uh, only the, the most adaptable and resilient systems will be able to survive. currently in Cairo working from home but unfortunately in a city like Cairo with a, such a high population density social distancing working from home and access to technology is only a luxury for a few you have millions of people working in the informal economy with um, unfixed salaries that have to win their earn their income on a daily basis that cannot simply afford to stay home So I believe we should um, use this time as an opportunity to stop, rethink and re-evaluate our design of buildings and cities. Only the, the most adaptable and resilient systems will be able to survive. I be therefore believe that uh, the profession and the world of design will go through a revolution in terms of design of public spaces, of our buildings, of our cities. Of a, a sh and a huge shift from this single typology of buildings. It will go through a revolution in terms of designing antimicrobial uh, building materials, of, of redesigning our mass transportation and infrastructures. I cannot wait for all the innovative ideas that will emerge after this um, crisis is over and uh, only wish to uh, share with you some of my thoughts. For example, like, is the open plan concept really working? Do you really want to be waiting in a waiting room in a hospital with other patients? Or are we completely redesigning our healthcare facilities? Are we redesigning our homes to be an extension of the workplace or a school or as a playground? Um, if I can talk to Siri and tell her to send an email for me. Will I have like a small clinic in the house uh, that will measure my temperature and uh, blood pressure every day in the morning and give me a report of the illness I have? Are we, um, are we keeping our public spaces or are we shifting into public spaces with um, pods that allow people to self-isolate? Are we moving into touchless uh, design features, antimicrobial surfaces and spaces?